This video is discussing charging by conduction. Now, when we charge an object by conduction, we have two conductors. And the important thing to remember with conductors is that charges can flow around, move around easily within them. And when we have the same charge in a conductor, like these electrons here, they're going to be repelled from each other by the electrostatic force. Each electron's kind of jostling to get as far away from its neighbors as it can. The other thing with conduction we want to remember is conduction is charging by contact. Conduction, contact, A. Now, when we start out, we have negative four coulombs of charge. So each one of these red dots, we're going to call one negative coulomb of charge and zero over here in the empty sphere. When we bring the empty sphere into contact with the charged sphere on the left, electrons are going to flow because all of a sudden there's more space for them to go into, and they're going to flow over here. Once we move the two spheres apart, well, these electrons want to stay in this one because all of a sudden they have more real estate to kind of spread out in. So afterwards, we're going to get a total charge of negative 2 coulombs in the left one, negative 2 in the right one, for a total of negative 4 altogether. So conservation of charge says that before and after we should have the same charge. Before it was negative 4 plus 0 is negative 4. Afterwards, it's negative 2 minus 2 is 4. Hey, all right. A similar situation is going to be this one, where we have negative 4 charges in the left, positive 2 in the right. So once again, we're charging by conduction. When we move the one in from the right, what's going to happen is we're going to get two electrons sucked over, and those are going to cancel out positive charges over here. Those charges are effectively neutralized, leaving these two left to just kind of spread out all by themselves. And afterwards, we're going to get a negative one on the left, a negative one on the right, and a negative two total afterwards. So once again, before it was negative two, afterwards it's negative two, Charges conserved, good for us. Let's go on to the last case. Now in this last one I'm going to do for you, we have negative 3 coulombs on the left, negative 1 on the right, for a total of negative 4. Now once again, we're going to move the 1 in from the right, touching the left. Once again, charges are going to flow in between them. Charges are going to spread out take up the most spaces. Then we're going to separate the two spheres apart, and we're left with negative 2 on the left-hand side, negative 2 on the right-hand side for a total of negative 4. Conservation of charge stands up. Now, what you may have noticed in all three examples is that if we take the charge before, whatever it is, Divided by 2, that's going to be the final charge on each sphere. So the total charge beforehand, divided by 2, that's the total charge on each sphere.